BYOD that is bring your own device or policy enforcement for compliant devices and non-compliant devices that all comes under the remit of NAC which is network access control in this video we will understand that what is NAC what are its enforcement policies permission types and the key vendors who provide NAC solutions so here we start NAC network access control it's a network solution which allows only authenticated and compliant end devices to access the resources of network and infrastructure in other word it enforces security compliance like latest antiviral software latest security patches etc in addition to validating the endpoints have their own firewalls or encrypted software is installed all those related compliant things are taken care by NAC in addition to that NAC is not only limited to wide connectivity it also takes care of the Wi-Fi connected devices and VPN where the users using the device are sitting remotely and they connect to the central data center or the head office and that is also where NAC can implement the posture assessment and related policy enforcement for VPN users also. Here we can see the outsource as well as the in-house users have their own respective devices that may be handheld mobile or iPad or related things. They need access to the network resources and that is where NAC comes into picture. It acts as a bodyguard and stops the user who are using non-compliant devices and accordingly takes one of these three decisions either to block the traffic or quarantine or allow it. So let's try to understand more about these three permission types that NAC can provide for either outsource users who are using devices to access the network resources or in-house employees who want to access the network resources. So first one is the permission of blocking. In this case, the block permission prevents unauthorized or non-compliant devices from entering into the network. And the triggers include outdated antivirus or missing patches in the system or else user or the device have failed the credential test all these things can result in blocking of that device or traffic the second one is the quarantine permission in this case the non-compliant devices are isolated allowing limited or restricted access only this includes AV which is not updated or temporary access which is given for devices for remediation and finally there may be a security threat which has been identified and hence the device has been sent into quarantine zone. Last one is the allow permission. In that case full access to authorized or compliant devices is given. The reason for this is that all the security requirements are met which includes patches, data encryption has been approved and also the approved software has been installed all these are the reasons that the traffic or the end device can be allowed to have full permission or full access to the network resources now that we understood the three permission types let's understand the key benefits we can reap from NAC the first one being improved security wherein it protects against unauthorized access and insider threats. The NAC verifies user identity and device authenticity to ensure that only authorized users access the network. The second one is the enhanced visibility wherein it offers insights into the devices which are connected and the compliance status of the same. It provides real-time view on the connected devices identifies device types, their OS, 
and compliance status. The third one is the policy enforcement. In this case, it ensures that the network segmentation is implemented and role-based access is provided, wherein it dynamically assigns devices to that specific VLAN and based on the role or compliance status it is given. Additionally, it can isolate IoT, guest users and non-compliant devices also. Finally, threat mitigation, wherein the NAC detects and isolates compromised devices in real time. In addition to that, combining device compliance enforcement, segmentation and continuous monitoring is part of the threat mitigation feature set of NAC. Key vendors which provide NAC solutions. These are the list of six vendors which are pretty much prevalent in the market and the topmost one is the Cisco Identity Service Engine which is called ICE in short. Next we have Aruba's ClearPass, Fortinet's FortiNAC and Forescout NAC. Extreme also has a solution for NAC which is called the, the Extreme Control and finally Juniper's NAC which is called Unified Access Control. All are providing the same feature set which is of the threat mitigation and policy enforcement for compliant non-compliant devices. And that takes us to the end of the slide. Hope you like it. And please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.